got to work there, and my man said I, I was continue. Uh, I began to continue with what I said before. This man was a general, and then you know um, he said there's a leprosy there, and then of course the man goes, I, I don't need to see. Just go to Jordan and, and bath seven times. Where he didn't want to go before, I was thinking that I got some uh, go swimming pool or go river somewhere else. You know, and of course, we cut the long story short. He went there. He took a, a bath seven times. His king, they were like a baby. But he said something. He said, "Go tell your master, Gehazi, when I get back home and I'm worshiping Rimon, the gods, of, the gods of Syria. It's not really from my heart. I've given my heart to the God of Israel. He is the holy God. He is the holy God. He is the holy God. So God is now brought into Syria." That same Syria that's our war today. How many people have been dead in Syria? How many people have been displaced in Syria? In fact, we have a population imbalance right now because of the displacement, because of the refugee crisis. Hey, thank God for our government all over the nations of the earth. But there's a limit to what it can do, but there's no limit to what God can do through us. How our God is unlimited. We're going to get this thing and we're going to get it right now. It's time to begin to stand up. Pray for the nations. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking about just talking it. I'm not talking about just preaching about it. There are a lot of people preaching about it. We preach, 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 preach and talking. Hey, we're going to get on the table. We're going to get on the floor. We're going to do it when this does that. It's not about you just talking about it and say, okay, well, I like what the guy said. No, you don't have to like what I'm saying. You don't have to like it. You know, and I don't, I'm not here to entertain or for you to like. You're going to be here. It's your responsibility. Why? You're a child of God. And you love this Jesus. Team up. Thursday, watch what our God we do. It shall be well with you. Listen to this excerpt. It will bless you. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Prayer. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Prayer is having a conversation with God. It must be a dialogue. You may write from a teacher. It must be a dialogue and not a monologue. Because when we speak to God, we must listen to hear from him. It is time, too many of us, we have engaged in talking to God, but we spend no time to hear back from, from God. It is speaking and a listening activity. Prayer is the skylight of the soul to the life that is above. It is absolutely important. Prayer is absolutely important for the survival and the effectiveness of the Christian faith as oxygen is to life. Prayer is the key that opens heaven's door, but not all types of prayer can impact the heart of God. The Greek word for prayer is translated prosukromai in the Greek language. The Greek word for praise from the word doxa, which glory, you give God glory, but prosukromai is to pursue God, to have this personal encounter with Almighty God. The Bible contains the word contains 370 times reference to praise. That's why we, I, I get you to praise him. And 370 times, set 375 times, the Bible asks us to pray. Are you with me? 375 times. When we reflect on prayer habits of church people in America and around the world, throughout the Western Hemisphere in particular, it is sad to discover that most Christians are guilty of praying for they're guilty of being self-centered rather than God-centered.